Do you want to know what these two products have in common? Stay tuned and keep watching! Hi guys, it's Byzantine and how are you doing? And it's finally time for another perfume review. I don't know if you're as excited as I am, but every time I can sniff something good, I am so excited. And probably as you've seen in the title, it's gonna be Tom Ford review. I really like this brand, but I will talk about Black Orchid today. Before I do that, I want to uh, encourage you to subscribing if you haven't already and thank you so much for subscribing to those who subscribe. Oh my gosh, tongue, to, tongue twister. And I want to make a few announcements. Um, the thing is that I think I want to change my phone in the uh, upcoming half a year. Right now I have um, iPhone SE and uh, this is what I'm filming with but I want to uh, change it uh, to a newer version of iPhone I don't know iPhone 8 plus or something new let me know in the comments if you know because I want to uh, I mean in the comments if you have any of these and uh, what's your opinion on that and um, having said that, it means that I will be able to spend less money on a fragrance because I want to like put away some money to collect some money because I, well, I need money to buy it. And uh, yeah, um, this is what's involved. Plus, you know, my hair, my scalp is so flaky and I don't know why I barely eat anything I want. And uh, still, uh, it becomes flaky. I don't know if it's because of the stress, the tiredness. I don't know. And uh, the thing is that I want to order Halo Beauty Vitamins for the hair, skin and nails. Just let me know if any of you use that. I saw some great reviews. I watched Tati Westbrook, who is the owner of the company. Uh, religiously and I recommend you her channel why not and if you want another recommendation I uh, watch Demi Rowling for not for a long time but I kind of feel that me I mean Demi and me we kind of vibing the same thing in the head and we, we would really get along uh, like in person just as friends Okay, let me move to the review. This introduction is way too long already. Okay, so I moved to this type of uh, filming and uh, I'm gonna use my natural light right now. So the review is, as the title says, of a uh, Tom Ford Black Orchid EDP version that came out in the early 2000s and um, you know I would tell you right now that I think it's the best oriental fragrance but let me talk about it more later this is uh, how I got it in this gray uh, bag the perfume itself was packed in this, sorry, this is my t-shirt uh, drying and uh, it came packed in this uh, golden box. I bought a 30 mil because this is all I could afford and Tom Ford afford, huh? If you want to sponsor me, I'll be glad to accept the bigger bottle. Uh, no, I'm really like right now I don't have money for fragrance but yeah if you want to sponsor me anybody I will accept it because I will have more material to review and this is how the bottle looks like let me go to this view this is a, a classic Tom Ford bottle for the signature line I had um, Another one of Tom Ford's, which is Velvet Orchid. I will put a card uh, on the screen for that. Um, but as you can see, it's the exact same bottle. Bottle, sorry. 
Uh, but this one's black and this one's purple. So, what does the Tom Ford Black Orchid smell like? And I gave you a hint with this uh, Nivea Watermelon Shine uh, fragrance because yeah, Tom Ford is a, I mean, Black Orchid is a great, I mean, I think it's the best designer modern oriental fragrance. Uh, it's um, oriental enough. It uses the, um, the vanilla, the uh, cacao, the, uh, what else, patchouli and a uh, couple other oh the truffle note which is a kind of unique for this fragrance and a couple other notes but um the thing is that what i can smell in tom ford is watermelon specifically like watermelon jolly rancher i don't know if you're familiar with this candy I remember being in the US and eating watermelon uh, Jolly Ranchers and many people who I talked to uh, and like Jolly Ranchers, they always say, oh my gosh, the watermelon one is the best kind. And they used to have it like uh, separately that you can buy it in a uh, se separate flavor, not uh, in a mix. So I think this fragrance is reminiscent of watermelon jolly rancher and you can smell it like i don't know i can't stop smelling it all the time plus um when you smell it on your skin when you apply it it's definitely a spicy fragrance i wouldn't be able to tell you what kind of spice it has but um it's the fragrance that has enough warmth enough spice so I could call it oriental. I wouldn't say oriental floral. Well, there are some flowers for sure out there, but they do not play the first violin. Uh, I don't know if you call it this way in English. And they are not, the flowers are not the uh, main character in this fragrance. To me, it's a variation of watermelon jelly rancher with, of course, a lot of sweetness well not a lot of enough sweetness so it's not sickly plus uh definitely some patchouli cacao um and um what else uh and spice spice for sure to me it's a very sometimes you know in, in other, one of the days i remember um wearing it and it smelled to me a little bit herbal so but it's still uh, in a spice, um, herb, herbs, herbal family. I don't know. I, yeah, like the longer I talk, the less proper I am. So I'm giving you a different shot, and I'm thinking if there's anything else I wanted to talk to you. Oh, the longevity and sillage, uh, the trail that it leaves. The longevity is uh, great, however, I'm not the best judge, I always say, because, um, you know, usually the fragrances don't stay long on my skin. And this one, um, I don't think it stays very, very long on my skin. Five hours for sure, maybe longer. Uh, on clothes, uh, it stays longer, but... It's not like the monster that fills in the room. I was reading the reviews, but no, nothing like this uh, happens because, you know, people would tell me that I suffocate them, but no, they they don't. So, uh, and uh, longevity, the trail, I covered that. Anything else? Oh, how does it have to do with, uh, how does it compare with a Velvet Orchid? You know, I wanted to try Black Orchid uh, because I would repurchase this uh, if I didn't get this one. Uh, but I wanted to try Black Orchid since it's like the first fragrance and I can smell some parts and bits of Black Orchid in Velvet Orchid. And am I gonna repurchase Black Orchid? Not sure, because I think that Velvet Orchid is definitely more me than anything else. 
uh, I mean than any other Tom Ford fragrance, at least for now. I enjoy uh, the signature line, I enjoy the private blend and the spice that you get in here is very similar to the spice that you get in Tobacco Vanille and uh, I like this uh, brand to be very consequent and I am so happy and I'm not losing faith in modern perfumery because these fragrances are rather acquired taste and uh, um, I am so happy that they were released on a mass market, so bravo Tom Ford. I'm, I'm not sure if Tom Ford is L'Oreal or let me check if it's... Uh, I kind of think it's Coty. No, actually it's Estee Lauder. Oh, I'm not sure. But still, I am happy that, you know, this kind of fragrance was released in a mass market so we can enjoy it. So this is the best modern oriental fragrance that you can wear every day. And uh, it's not going to suffocate you. Tom Ford said it smells like a man's scratch. Well, if this smells like men's scratch, well, uh, that would be great. <laughs> I'm not especially since men crutches and I'm not gonna continue this subject before it goes too far and uh, yeah what I didn't say I didn't say what I said I meant to say yeah so as usual the video is very very long that is all for now uh, this was my review on to of Tom Ford's Black Orchid and the Jolly Ranchers spiciness of it all oh let me apply yes i love it i really love it actually it smells very expensive and i appreciate that and um thank you so much for watching see you next time i'm planning more videos for you for one of them i am preparing and uh for the other ones i have to film some material uh, just comment down below what I asked before, uh, plus if you ever used Tom Ford Black Orchid and what do you think about it, plus if you have any recommendation if, in terms of the iPhones um, that are uh, more up to date than SE that I'm using. And see you next time, yeah, wow, yeah, subscribe, yeah, wow, kisses, bye, 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 bye. Oh, 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 oh,